Hello and welcome. This is Gigi and this is a weekly tarot reading for my Aries for the week starting August 29, 2016. And if you'd like to have a private reading from me, you can send me an email at ggweektarot at gmail.com. You can also subscribe to my channel. I would be very appreciative. Thank you for all you guys who subscribed already and welcome to my new subscribers. I will be expanding my channel in September. More videos, more about astrology, more about tarot, more about traveling. And so make sure you subscribe so you get the notification where there's a video available for you online. And I have also posted below the video where you could put where you could see me on social media as well. And now my Aries on to your reading. I want you to know that prior to recording your reading, I meditate and ask spirit for guidance and I shuffle the cards as well. So let's see what we have in the past position this week. We have the Knight of Pentacles looking in the past. Okay. It's not a good, I don't like to see the Knight of Pentacles in that direction. I want him to go forward because especially this one is very slow. Okay. Um, there's a lot of energy that's making you go backward in terms of the amount of work that has to be done. Okay. You have your sixth house ruler, which is, uh, Mercury retrograded in the sixth house in Virgo. And so the sixth house is daily routine is work is activity, daily activity. And so there's a lot of things in terms of work where you could get a little confused, especially for those that have a new position or you have a new job since the beginning of the year, or it's been a year, there's, you know, you will see yourself getting some confusing information. Okay. Some of you would want to help someone or want to help something. And for some reason it could go and backlash at you, or, you know, you could be hearing people not wanting to have your help or just, you know, things of that nature. And like I said, you know, it's a huge deal to have the sixth house ruler, which is Mercury going retrograde in the sixth house. Okay. And the Knight of Pentacles is all about work. All the Knights, I keep saying the same thing. They want to, you know, they want to upgrade. They want to grow. So they want to become King, which is the highest place for them. Okay. And so here, the Knight of Pentacles needs to learn something about finance resource, being useful, something about work, something about career, okay? And it's just, there's, he's still stuck in the past. So it could be that maybe you have established some relationship, some type of routine with your clients or with people at work, and now this week you're looking at it and you're like, what is going on? There's some type of, uh, you know energy where it's, it could be conflicting the information you're receiving or you could feel from other people that they're not really as inclined to share of you know in sharing with you or you know they're not really interested in maybe receiving some type of help from you but that is only because of this retrograde so i really trust you remember that and let's see what we have in a present position this week oh interesting we have the king of pentacles you know, if you're coming from a good place, even if you're not being received or there's some type of conflict response you're getting from other people, know that you are really the best you can be. Okay. And I think, and I, you know, I don't want to come back to this, but I really, I think that for some of my Taurus, um, what, what am I saying? Taurus, Woo! scratch that Mercury retrograde. For some of my Aries, probably I thought about Taurus because of it's the King of Pentacles, which is an earth element. It could be that you have been working so hard with having your ruler in the eight houses. It's a house of other people, money, resource, power. You have been giving some amount of authority. Not that you, you know, you could be in position of authority, but you have been giving some amount of, how can I say, um, flexibility in using your, your, your skills in, you know, making decision, you still in the same position. You still have those. What could be only different this week? I feel for some of my Aries, because it is a general reading is that the amount of cooperation that you're used to get may not come easy, but you are still working. You are still wanting to do 
the best that you can. You're still involved in your career. You're still involved with your clients, with those that are doing business. You're still pretty much uh, aware. You're very present. However, you're noticing that maybe it's, it's a slow period in terms of your work, your daily routine, or maybe, like I said, you has you have all this this to give this knowledge this um, assistance to give to other people, but you may not um, be feeling that you're you're needed. Okay, and let's see what we have in the position of the outcome this week. The death card, interesting. I mean, with this solar eclipse in your. Um, in your sixth house solar eclipse is really is a new moon so it's like in a way it's also like the beginning of something in your career okay um there will be you know there will be emphasis put in that area for the next few weeks but with that 15 days later there will be also a full moon okay uh and the full moon will be in pisces and so the full moon in Pisces is in your 12th house. It's the house of lost and uh, it's the final placement of the soul. It's the house of release, letting go on, you know, um, unknown secrets, self, self undoing behavior, dreams, hidden, hidden talents, a lot of things. Okay. But it's also, you know, this card also represents Scorpio which is, you know, you and Scorpio share the same ruler, Mars. So I feel that there will be an ending in some sort coming towards you. Okay. Um, I feel that it's positive because after that, soon after that, you know, uh, your ruler, which is in Sagittarius, will go in Capricorn, which is where Mars is exalted, where Mars received his highest strength. But with that, you're going to have to maybe clarify a few things. Maybe you have to have boundaries. Boundaries seems to be a big issue for all of this sign, all of our, all of the signs in 2016. You have to say, who am I? What do I tolerate? What is too much for me? And you know, the thing with Aries is they're really willing. They have the energy. They are, they are capable. So for them to create boundaries, like if it's not necessary, if they have the energy, then it's not necessary. But here you have to learn maybe in your relationship or maybe at work that, that, you know, there's a necessity to have a balance. Okay. Of just give and receive. Okay. Just like you're giving so much or you have been giving for the last few weeks, maybe months. Now you're in a position of, you know, you know, or, um, you're in a position where you're able to, you know, see how those relationships has improved and you're not necessarily being satisfied. You know, you're like, well, I've been giving too much and not really seeing, you know, cause again, it's never about 50, 50. I don't believe in that. It's always about finding a balance, but here there may be something that you're going to have to shut down. Or you're going to have to review, or you're going to have to transform, which is also Scorpio death card is, you know, something has to die to bring something new, a new positive energy. Okay. It could be in different areas of life. And it, please leave me comments. Let me know how this resonated with you for you, my Aries. I'm going to end this reading here until next week. Send you lots of kisses. I love you.